Hi, I am Paul Levesque at Gentelia and I will show you how to do a calibration on this Intelia Canon light dimmer. First, we need to get to the output interface. To do so, we press the menu button. We head all the way to the right to configuration using the up arrow. We head into configuration with the check mark. We head into the output. The controller has two outputs with two independent calibration. So we choose output A to begin. We go down to calibration edit. And this is the calibration interface. So here we can adjust the intensity of the light the way that we like it. So we have multiple parameters here, the on threshold and intensity 1% to 100%. So what this does is to have a good light curves from 1% up to a hundred percent when we use the dial or the controller because when it ships out if we leave it like this usually we will have um, a dark band between one percent and ten percent and it's gonna go up real fast and we might reach maximum light intensity around seventy percent so that's why we want to run a calibration. So let's start with the first value and how to do it. First, you have to leave your switches in automatic because when you do so and you select the value, it's going to be applied on the output. So the number on the right is pretty much a percentage of how much power that you apply on the output. So let's begin with the on threshold. This value here is when it's the amount of power the LED requires to light up. So let's use random numbers for our example. Let's say that my LEDs power up at 12%. So to find it out, I can lower my on threshold to 0% and then I go up slowly and I look at my lights. And once I see that they lit up, I stop. That's my on threshold. Next one is the 1%. So my light lights up at 12%. But there, there's a high chance that they can go lower than that. And to find it out, we go at this value and then we start ramping down. And we stop when they go dark. So let's say they went dark at 9. So I would go up back at 10 but it still would be dark because I have to light the, the lights first. So, and then I can come back at 10 and they should be lit up right now. And this would be my 1%. So what I did there is when, for example, let's go back to the summary screen using the menu button. When I would use my switch and I play with the dial, when I'm at 1%, I apply 10% of the power on the output and it makes it go at the lowest intensity, intensity possible while the, dial, while the dial is turned down. So it makes it for nice 1% that's usable. So next, Let's do the other values. Let's go back to configuration output. So 
we are back here. So 1% is done. So what I suggest that you do with the other percentage is that you take a look visually. So switch it automatic, you select it, it's going to apply the this power on the output, you take a look at it, and then you take a look at 50, and then you take a look at 75, and then you take a look at 100. So usually what you will see is going to ramp up quite fast at 25, fast at 50, at 75, there's high chances that you will have 100% intensity and you will see no difference between 75 and 100. So what I start with usually is I go to 25, drop it down to 20, drop the 50 to 40, and drop the 75 to 60, and I give it another go. So now I would try it again, 20, 40, 60, and I would watch the progression. And then if you really want to have your controller on point, what you can do is take a look between the 75 and the 100 and you can actually lower the 100 without uh, without having any influence on the output of the LED. So you can lower it down until the intensity doesn't go down. Sometimes it can be at 90 and it's going to be the exact same as 100. And on this part, you have to kind of look in the barn to see how things are and you go through your feeling but this is what get uh, a nice and clean calibration and then once you are done with that and you are satisfied with the result you can go back go back and you start over with output b and there you go you could you can try if if you have the same lights you can put the exact same numbers in and after that you can come back to the similar screen you can put your switch in manual and you can try it out and you will see the result thank you for watching this video it was polyvike from intelia